All right, good to see you, my friend. I'm meteorologist Josh Stone in for John Scalzi today. We're walking out to a temperature of 77 degrees. The dew point right now at 75. Humidity at 94%. So it's quite muggy out there to start our day. It's going to be warm and muggy later on this afternoon when our heat index could be around 100 degrees. Of course, we're going to talk about the solar eclipse in just a second. And then later on this work week, we're going to have a plume of tropical moisture come back into the area to bring us widespread showers and maybe some thunderstorms. As far as the shower activity right now here in the radar in the Gulf of Mexico and moving up to the north and west and away from the peninsula of Florida, thanks to dry air aloft, and that's helping to push all that moisture away from us. So our radar remains very quiet at this time. Nothing to show you here other than off the coast of Tampa Bay and Anna Marie Island, well offshore, we have a few stray showers out here. All right, the big story today is the solar eclipse. We're going to break this down for you. As we all know, the Earth rotates around the sun and the moon rotates around the Earth. But every once in a while, the moon actually comes in between the sun and the Earth and casts a shadow on the Earth. Well, we're going to experience about a 78 to 80 percent of an eclipse for the sun coast. We call this the penumbra a partial shadow. The umbra is actually the full shadow of the moon, and that's going to be about a 67-mile wide swath, starting from basically the coast of Oregon and going all the way to Charleston, South Carolina. Only 67 miles wide of complete darkness, and people are going to experience that. But obviously for us or anywhere that when this solar eclipse happens, you obviously don't want to look directly at the sun. Sunglasses are not going to protect you. You really need a special solar uh, filter to look at this. Or even better yet, uh, if you don't have that, you can basically punch a hole through a piece of cardboard or a piece of paper, hold it up to the eclipse, and then look away and look at the uh, projection of that through the uh, light going through that pinhole and you can see the eclipse that way. As far as our forecast for the eclipse, expect partly cloudy skies today. The maximum eclipse will take place about 250, 251 this afternoon. But again, for us, about 80% of this eclipse will take place here through that 67 mile wide swath from Oregon all the way down to Charleston, South Carolina, 100% of the total eclipse will take place. But some areas here in the lower 48 experiencing some clouds and shower activity. So some of those people that want to see the solar eclipse will have to go elsewhere. As far as our future cast goes, other than a few passing clouds over the next few days, nothing really to show you other than this tropical moisture coming in from the Atlantic. And that's going to help increase our rain chance as we go through uh, the latter part of this upcoming work week and into the weekend with about a 60 to 70 percent chance of widespread rainfall. Our highs for today topping out around average and that's going to be for the entire next uh, seven days with highs topping around 90. But again, more rain comes our way in uh, the end of the work week and into the weekend. Becky.